the questions discussion with explanation for Karnataka CET engineering examination conducted during the year 2013. Okay, the first problem is the speed of light in media M1 and M2 or 1.5 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second and 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second respectively. A ray travels from medium 1 to medium 2 with an angle of incidence theta. The ray suffers total internal reflection. The abbreviation I have used for total internal reflection is TIR. Then the value of the angle of incidence theta is, the four options are there. Theta should be greater than sine inverse of 3 by 4. Second option is less than sine inverse of 3 by 4. Equal to sine inverse of 3 by 4. The last option is less than or equal to sine inverse of 3 by 4. Okay. So, a ray of light has travelled from medium 1 to medium 2 and it has undergone total internal reflection. Therefore, it should have travelled from denser medium to rarer medium. So, M1 is denser and M2 is rarer. Now, let's see. This is the ray of light and uh, I draw the normal at the point of incidence. It bends away from the normal. So this is the angle of incidence in the denser medium. Now, for a particular angle of uh, incidence, as I increases, the refracted ray will just graze the surface and further if I in increases, then the refracted ray will completely turn into the denser medium itself and uh, in this case, when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, you know critical angle is that angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the ray of light will get completely turned up into the denser medium itself. So the basic condition is that since the total internal reflection is happening, the ray suffers total internal reflection, then I is greater than C. What is the relationship between uh, refractive index N and uh, the critical angle? We know that N is equal to 1 by sin C or sin C is equal to N, sin C is equal to 1 by N and uh, what is uh, N actually? It is refractive index of the pair of media which is given as velocity of light in medium 2 over velocity of light in medium 1. Now since sin c is equal to 1 by n, this implies sin c is equal to reciprocal of this. So I have to take v1 by v2. So c is sin inverse of v1 by v2. Therefore c is equal to sin inverse of. Now the speed of light or velocity of light in the two media are given. The speed of light in medium 1 that is V1 is 1.5 to 10 power 8 meters per second and in medium 2 it is 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second cancelling these two we get C equals sin inverse of take off this decimal to one place right side so here in the denominator we have 20 5 3's are 5 4's are so sin inverse of 3 by 4 now if theta is the angle of incidence then I should be greater than C. Therefore, clearly this answer is that theta should be greater than sin inverse of 3 by 4, which is the first option. So here, what are the important things to be noted? The important things to be noted is that when a ray of, whenever total internal reflection, for total internal reflection, the ray of light should travel from denser medium to rarer medium, point number one. Point number two, the angle of incidence must be greater than critical angle. Point number three is critical angle and critical angle of the pair of media and refractive index are related as n is equal to 1 by sin c. And point number four, this refractive index of a pair of media can be expressed in terms of velocity of light in two media which is uh, V2 by V1, that is 
velocity of light in medium 2 over velocity of light in medium 1. So, these are the thinking process 